All right, I was right. It is Mr. Meow. Mr. Matthew Meow. And hopefully he left Simon at uh, home today and didn't bring him to the cafe, because otherwise that's just gonna be a giant mess, I'm sure. Anyway, let's see Matthew. I was led to a booth and given a menu and some cat treats. As I settled into my chair, I noted all the kittens and cats who were wandering around, nuzzling people or simply watching the patrons in neutral curiosity. One particularly energetic cat bounced up to the table I was led to and meowed happily towards me, watching as I giggled and sat down. <laughs> Why, hello there! I gently petted the cat and fed it some treats, patiently waiting for my server, Mr. Meow. It was a cute name, I had to admit. Oh, hey ya! <laughs> hey, someone who's happy to see me, not just like, <gasps> What are you doing here? Huh? I looked over to become stunned. Oh, you look great! Man, you look like too perfectly put together. You even got like a little cat bell bow thing going on. So cute. Matthew, my husband and best friend in the world, was dressed in a server's outfit with mechanically moving cat ears on his head, both twitching happily. His excited expression made me grin from ear to ear myself. Matthew? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I was asked to volunteer and stuff, so I just kind of did, you know? Hey, did Naomi get you a reservation, or did you have to wait in that long line? Naomi reserved for me. <laughs> I could barely take it. Matthew looked so cute in his outfit and ears that I couldn't help but reach up and pet his head. Hey, <laughs> come on. I have a job to do, okay? Now, what can I get for you today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Matthew. I giggled and looked at the menu, reading some of the unique choices and finally nodding at the sound of one of them. The sweet chocolate chai, please. Matthew's face brightened a bit with a blush, but he simply grinned and nodded. You got it. One perfect sweet chocolate chai, coming right up. Oh, Matthew, you gotta work on your purrs. Matthew bowed slightly before rushing off to the kitchen to get my order. After he left my sight, I turned my eyes back to the menu to reread my order. Oh, no. That's why he was blushing. <laughs> huh. There's a magic wand next to the name. Wonder what that means. I lowered the menu and lured the cute cat at my table over with a treat. With a happy purr, he strutted over and nuzzled my hand affectionately, nibbling the treat politely in my hand. Oh, what a good kitty! I can't wait to see the enthusiasm with how Matthew approaches this compared to how Sam did it. I couldn't help but mentally coo at the sight, imagining myself adopting him for a small moment. Then again, I had Simon and Simone, and who knows what they would do to a new pet. We named her Simone, that's so cute. I resigned myself to petting my new friend on the head while I waited for my drink, curious as to what it would taste like. Here you are. One perfect sweet chocolate chai. I smiled and turned to see Matthew holding a warm cup on a tray for me. He placed it down on the table and lowered the tray to the floor. All right, so this tea is very special, okay? It requires a magical cat spell to make it absolutely delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my god, this was adorable and out of the blue. I stared, a stunned blush crashing across my cheeks as he held out his hands and curled them like a cat in front of him. Are you ready? The spell is... Meow Meow Blast! Pew Pew Pew! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matthew, that's all I ever wanted. Uh, y yeah, sure. Um, ready. I held up my hands. I held my hands up like him, unable to fully believe I was about to do some sort of cute magic spell in the cafe. All right. Oh. Meow meow blast. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Is having your leg up very really necessary? Oh, it's so funny. You're too cute. Matthew cutely pawed at the air before making a heart symbol at the T and wiggling his hands at it to cast the spell. I followed along the best I could without laughing at myself. To my surprise, the steam rising from the cup twirled around and formed a heart shape in the air before vaporizing. Wh what? Ta da! Meow, it's perfect. I hope you enjoy it! God, Matthew was so cute. The spell was totally his doing. And you somehow convinced Sam to go along with it. I smiled and giggled at him, earning a warm smile in return. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. I'm positive I'll enjoy it. 
Matthew chuckled and rubbed his hair a bit, his ears twitching in a form of delight at my words. My heart swelled at the sight. I absolutely loved him, and I was sure that this persona of his would stick with us for a while after the event was over. It was too cute to simply forget. For now, he would be Mr. Meow. Soon, though, he would be my Matthew, warmed up in our Sweet Embrace capitalized. <laughs> sweet Embrace. Aw, Matthew. Such a sweet little bun. Or kitty, I guess, <laughs> in this instance. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more boy. My Mr. Intense Cinnamon Bun, Damien. I can't wait to see what he does as a cat server. I'm sure it'll be great either way. Anyway, hope to see you there, guys. Until then, see you later.